Welcome, sixth grade class of 2027. Welcome to Antilles Middle School. My name is Vilma Rodriguez. I am Antilles Middle School counselor. Yes, in seven years, you will be headed towards college and or careers. Antilles Middle School will prepare you for that stage in your life. For that reason, your sixth grade teachers are more than ready to teach you and keep you challenged. The middle school years are challenging in many ways, academically and developmentally. Children experience fast body and cognitive changes during the middle school years. Cognitively, children change from operational thoughts to former thoughts. Physically, children experience tremendous body changes and body growth. These different stages of development are found in language, morals, memory, and reasoning. Today's educators include all of these stages in curriculums and expected standards of learning. For that, we prepare a counseling program to support you throughout these developmental stages, intellectually and physically. We develop an annual plan that includes academics, careers, social, emotional skills. For that, we use what is called Choices 360, which is our platform for all three areas. Parents and students will soon receive information to open an account that will be active until your high school graduation. To support you, as I mentioned before, we have your sixth grade teachers. That's our wonderful team that you're about to meet. Here they are, Mr. Frank Baldrick, our math teacher, Mrs. Vivian Bosa, EFL and ELA teacher, Mrs. Barbara Dixon, our science teacher. Also, Ms. Veronica Pagan, she's the ELA teacher, Mrs. Mildred Martinez, social studies teacher, and Ms. Carmen Torres, ELA and support teacher. Mrs. Laura Soldevila, our math teacher, Mr. Ricardo de Jesus, physical education and health education teacher, and Mr. Down Os Osbury, music and band teacher. Mr. Victor Mejia, Spanish teacher, Mr. Carlos Rodriguez, career and technical education teacher, and Mrs. Amy Paso Strong, Spanish teacher. Ms. Maricel Cruz, she's an ELA math and support teacher. Ms. Cristina Soler, our nurse, and Ms. Vanessa Ruiz, she's our avid teacher. We also have a lot of support for all of you. Mrs. Rosener Melendez, she's an educational technician. Mr. Jonathan Reynoso, she is also an educational technician. Ms. Mayra Fontanes, she's an educational technician. Here is Ms. Maria Santiago, she's our art teacher. And Mr. Roberto Martinez, he's a school education technician. Pay attention to that one. He's yes. the one in charge of getting your accounts. And of course, me, Vilma Rodriguez, I'm the counselor, Ms. Brenda Sandoval, she's the speech and language pathologist, and Mrs. Ali Pulido, she's our school secretary. And finally, here is the administration. These are my bosses, Mr. Edwin Caballero, assistant principal, and Mrs. Lourdes Girod, our school principal. And now I will take the, um, turn the microphone to Ms. Veronica Pagan, because here where we start a remote open house. Have a great school year and welcome to sixth grade. Thank you, Dr. Rodriguez. Now we're going to um, officially begin, guys, our remote open house. Welcome to new sixth graders. Welcome, welcome. We have a purpose statement. 
We want to provide an education for students who will be ready for their future, continue to learn, and take opportunities to better themselves. Remote learning classroom expectations. Use a computer or laptop for class. Find an appropriate work area to meet for classes and complete your work. Be prepared and on time to class. Follow your daily schedule. Cameras must be turned on during class sessions. Wear appropriate attire for class. Attendance to class is mandatory. Absences. Three absences will be reported to nurse and counselor for parent contact. Five absences will be reported to the principals. Your parent sponsor will need to email your teacher with an excuse for not attending a class. Emergencies will be held on a case-to-case -case basis but parents need to notify the teacher. And the bell schedule. We've had to do some adjustments to the bell schedule because of remote learning, but normally the bell schedule in school, the bell first bell rings and you have three to five minutes to get to your next class. And once you get to your next class then the second bell will ring to ensure that you're in class on time. However, since we do not have access to that, we have adjusted the bell schedule times to the following. Block one will start promptly at 7.46 to 8.16 a.m. Block two, 9.10 to 9.40 a.m. Block three, 10.35 to 11.05 a.m. And your lunch will be included with, sometimes when you get back in school, your seminar from 11.55 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. And of course, block four from 1.05 to 1.35 p.m. These are only required, indicate 30 minutes of instructions. After the direct instruction, the teacher's available for tutoring, small groups, or questions from students while they work independently until the end of the block. On Wednesdays, as you know, there are no live sessions, but tutoring as requested by students or teacher and students will be assigned work based on standards. AMS block schedule, school year 2020, 2021, A or B day. The teachers will give 30 minutes of direct instruction. The rest of the class will be for student independent work. Yes, as Mr. Baldrick was saying, AMS works in an alternate schedule. This means that the students take math and ELA class every day. However, science, social studies, and the electives are taken every other day. For example, if your child has PE class on A days, he or she will take another elective class like art or computer apps on B days. The same with science and social studies. If on Friday, we end the week with an A day, when we come back on Monday, it will be a B day. Holidays, teacher work days, and trainings don't count. Elective semester courses. Students take two electives per year, usually one on A days and one on B days. Some courses are semester long and others are, semester and are year long. AMS offers as electives music, beginning band, art, physical education, health, Spanish, intercultural ed, computer apps, and Avid. Thank you, teachers. Now we're going to continue with the sixth grade curriculum. This means what are the courses that AMS offers for sixth grade? Starting with math. The mathematics six course is aligned with the college and career ready standards for sixth grade. In this course, students refine their understanding of division of fractions and extend their understanding of rational numbers to include negative numbers. Writing, interpreting, and using expressions and equations in real world context, along with developing understanding of statistical thinking are also emphasized. Which math sites, apps, and materials will be using? Students will use the Google Classroom, to learn all their assignments and the plans, they're posted there. 
We will use Google Meet for our daily meeting, except on Wednesdays. Clever.com is the web portal to access Mafia and Edulastic. Khan Academy is used for daily assignments. And we're also using our Engage New York workbook. Workbooks work at office. If you were not able to pick your workbook or your other text, you can call the office, make an appointment, and go and pick them up. Following my integrated science one. The purpose of Integrated Science One is to provide sixth grade students with a foundation that follows for active engagement and concrete examples. This will foment the understanding of basic science concepts. The course will prepare students to ask questions, plan and carry out investigations. Constructing explanations and designing solutions will allow to engage in evidence-based arguments. They will learn the scientific knowledge is based on an empirical evidence. Expanding on the skills they have acquired since kindergarten, students will explore life, earth, and physical sciences through observation and inference. The students will be using Google Chrome Internet Browser, Dodia Schoology, HMH Ed, online book and workbook. Like Ms. Olevila has said, they were given in the in, at the office. And if you haven't gotten yours, we highly encourage you that you go ahead and get your supplies there, your books there. You will also be using Discovery Education. And now for ELA English Language Arts. ELA class is committed to advance the literacy skills of all military connected children to participate fully in our global community. DODIA defines literacy as reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Doing so by engaging students in technology supported instructional practices, along with traditional print and media formats. Our standard-based curriculum allows students to research and explore literature and nonfiction through integrated reading and writing programs. Health education. Our health education program prepares students to make wise decisions on matters concerning personal, family, and community health by providing comprehensive health education to students in K through 12. Through our health education, DODIA students gain an understanding and appreciation of healthful lifestyles that promote lifelong wellness. DODIA health education learning opportunities are designed to engage our students, enabling them to take responsibility for their well-being and the well-being of others. Basic to health education is a foundation of knowledge about the interactions within the human body, the prevention of disease and other health problems and the interrelationship between behavior and health. Our physical education program by Mr. De Jesus. Physical education addresses a student's fundamental need for regular activity to remain healthy. The DODIA Physical Education Program is an essential and integral part of DODIA's core values to educate the whole child. The program promotes attitudes and behaviors that reduce health risks, increase ways to enjoy movement, and include methods to develop an understanding for the interdependence of nutrition and physical activity for lifelong health. Our program contributes towards the achievement of cognitive and physical health through a curriculum that is based on a planned sequence of experiences in a wide variety of developmentally appropriate learning activities. Social Studies, the Eastern Hemisphere. The sixth grade social studies course is designed for students to study the Eastern Hemisphere and its diverse regions through primary and secondary sources, including map study. Students will use the five themes of geography to understand how the physical environment influences human settlement, economic activity, environmental issues, cultural achievements, religion, belief systems, and political connections. Students will study the region from the first humans through the Neolithic Revolution to modern day, specifically through the investigations of early river rally, 
civilizations and classical civilizations in the Eastern, the comparison of the world religions in the Eastern Hemisphere, the interactions of federal Western Europe, the Byzantine Empire, and the Islamic Calif Caliphate. The book will be available online as um, established in the, in the syllabus, and um, <clears throat> there will be no workbook for this year. ESOL 1-2, the English for Speakers of Other Languages Entering and Beginning Communication course is designed to develop and increase English language proficiency and academic skills for students whose primary language is not English and who are at a level 1 and 2 English proficiency. This course actively involves students in developing the skills of understanding, listening, speaking, viewing, reading, and writing to support the student's mastery of DODIA's general education content standards. Learning Strategies. Learning Strategy is a course that focuses on teaching students how to become successful learners. Doing Learning Strategies, you will learn how to keep track of your school progress and will learn effective time management techniques. Students are required to come to the Learning Strategies class with their work from mainstream classes in order to receive help and reteaching as needed. AVID 6, Advancement via Individual Determination, is an academic elective course for students in grade six that prepare them for college readiness and success. The rigorous college preparatory curriculum provided by the AVID Center includes tutor facilitated study groups, motivational activities, and academic success skills. Students participate in activities that incorporate strategies focused on writing, inquiry, collaboration, organization, and reading to support their academic growth. Students use an analog and digital binders and planners to organize materials and activities. Focused note-taking, goal-setting, and problem-solving are weekly requirements. Students learn about the requirements to be college-ready and explore their academic interests and options. Students must meet AVID participation requirements, apply to participate, and be accepted into the AVID college readiness. Intercultural Education AB. The Puerto Rican program provides DODIA Europe and Pacific Middle School students a cross-cultural and language acquisition focus to develop an appreciation and understanding of the culture and language of the country in which they are located. Students will further expand their view of the, port of the Puerto Rican culture and expand language use to foster enhanced intercultural relationships. our Spanish program. So Spanish 1M and Spanish 2C. Um, they are courses that um, develop a student's language acquisition of Spanish in the four basic skill areas, speaking, listening, reading, and writing. Currently, our LMS is Google Classroom. We are using the Descubre textbook and other DODIA approved resources such as Duolingual and Discovery Education. This course is designed to provide activities, projects, and experiences that enable um, students to appreciate and value the Spanish language and culture. The World Language Program is aligned to the national standards in foreign language education, published by the American Council on the Teaching of Foreign Languages. And we have computer applications. Computer applications is a year-long course designed to assist middle school students in applying a variety of computer technology and its application to their daily lives. In addition to info information literacy, the areas of technology introduced may include word processing, spreadsheet, database, internet, e-communications, graphics, presentation and publications, applications, and using digital and scanning equipment. Music. Music AB is a semester-long course. It's for students in grades 6 to 8. 
It is designed to introduce students to the four artistic processes of creating, performing, responding, and connecting. The content is aligned to the Dodia College and Career Ready Standards, Arts, CCRSA, National Core Arts Standards, NCAA. Beginning Band. Beginning Band is aligned to the Dodia College and Career Ready Standards. This course is, includes four um, artistic process of creating, performing, responding, and connecting, and introduces students to the following. Basic instrumental music techniques, such as stone production, articulation, breath control, pitch discrimination, melodic and rhythmic concepts and patterns, sound practice skills and habits, solo, ensemble, and full group rehearsals. Art 6. Art 6 semester course is a visual arts course in which the artistic processes of creating, producing, connecting, and responding will be explored. The visual arts program is aligned to Dodia's college and career ready standards and provides opportunities for a variety of experiences such as drawing, painting, printmaking, ceramics, sculpture, and mixed media that can be used throughout life for the communication, expression, and enjoyment. Students will build an art concept introduced in elementary school as the Dodia CCRSA are vertically aligned. We want to thank you all for joining our digital stream open house and taking the time to patiently listen to this essential information. We hope all students enjoy their remote learning and their of school 2021. Best of luck. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye.